Hello, this is Jesse Heath with Southwestern Christian University. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize the conferences within Canvas to have a live lecture uh, or record a live lecture that you can share with your students using the Canvas conference and Big Blue button. So you'll start in your dashboard and you'll want to click on the course in question that you want to have a canvas conference in so let's say for example i'm going to do this in my church history course now on the course menu that you see here you will have a menu option that says conferences you'll want to click that now what we're going to do um, is you will see um, two sections here, um, new conferences and concluded conferences. Now, new conferences is where all new recordings will be posted. Once a Canvas conference has ended, it'll move from new conferences to concluded conferences. So let's click on create a new conference. On this window, what I advise is just to go ahead and type the date or the week of your conference. So if you're in a non-traditional course like flex studies or graduate studies, up here you would just type in the week number. Uh, if you're in a traditional class and you don't wanna use a week number but you would rather use a date, uh, you could do something like March 16th, for example, okay? <laughs> Now, the type default to Big Blue Button, they are the free service that Canvas automatically partners with. Um, and uh, with Big Blue Button, we're able to save uh, our recordings for two weeks. Uh, and then after two weeks, um, the lecture is automatically deleted. So the first thing that you want to do after you type in the date is look at these two checkboxes. The first one you want to click so that you can enable the recording for your conference. If you do not click this, it will not have a start recording button. So make sure that it's clicked. This one's going to turn off the time limit. So it defaults to an hour. Uh, it can record past an hour. You just need to come here and click no time limit. If you want to give a description of the classroom activity or the lecture content of this of this conference you can do so by typing in a description here under members you'll see one checkbox that automatically checked for you and that is invite all course members this will always be checked and what this does is sends an automatic email to all members enrolled in your course so all the students in your course that are currently enrolled in canvas will receive an email telling them that you have started a Canvas conference and it'll give them a link to click so that they can join that conference. For testing purposes, I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want my students to receive an email. But normally, you would leave this checked. Then you would click update. You'll notice that my new conference is showing here underneath new conferences. So we're gonna click start and you will notice that a new window will open up. The first thing it's going to do is ask me if I wanna join the conference with a microphone or just with speaker listening capability. Since I am the instructor, you will be the instructor. Let's click on microphone. It's going to ask my web browser, which you should be using Google Chrome. It's the best web browser for Canvas enabled features. Um, you're gonna, it's gonna ask you to enable the microphone. So click allow, and then it's gonna do an echo test. As you can, As hear, you can hear, there's an, there's echo. an echo. If it echoes, if it echoes that means it, that is, means working. it is working. If it doesn't, if it work, doesn't work, click the no. Click the no. Since, it's working, Since it's working, I'm gonna click I'm the gonna yes. Click you are currently the only person in this conference. 
there's another video on the Canvas tutorial page that'll show you the, the individual features of the Canvas conference. I'm just gonna show you how to start, stop, recordings, and end the conference. So when you're ready, you have all your content uploaded and ready to go, you're gonna click this button here that says start recording. Again, when setting up your conference, if you did not check that box that says enable recording, this button will not show up. If that doesn't, if, if that occurs and that button, that button does not show up, you will need to close this window, go back to the conference page, in that me that conference, delete it and create a new one, start over. So I'll click start recording. It's gonna ask me um, to start recording. I'm gonna say yes. Notice it says you can press the button again to pause it. Okay, and now we're recording. You can see here that it's recording. What it's recording is everything that's on my screen. It's going to record um, the, the audio, obviously. If I had my webcam turned on, it would record my webcam. Uh, but it's recording everything on this part of the screen right here. Um, and uh, for different purposes, uh, sometimes it might uh, enable uh, the ability to uh, record chat room questions, things like that. So once you're done with the lecture um, and you're ready to end the recording, or if you need to pause for any reason, you just come back up here and click this button again. It says pause recording when you put your mouse over it. You click it and it's pausing. Now, again, you can pause this and start it and pause it and start it as many times as you need to. The, the recording will automatically pick back up where you left off. When you are finished completely, done at the end of the lecture or at the end of the night, you'll click it one last time and then you'll say, yes, I am sure that I want to pause the recording. You'll notice a little message here. Then all you need to do is come here to the three dots, the options, click the options, and then click end meeting. Yes, we are sure we want to end this session. This window will, um, give a quick little question you that you can give some feedback rating you're not required to do so you can just skip it if you want to hit okay this window is going to reload back to the conference home page i'm sorry the course home page okay so we can close this window close this tab and you'll notice that our conference window tab is still open from earlier within our course and you'll notice that it still says that our conference is in progress so we could rejoin the conference if we needed to, or we can end it. So don't forget, you have to come back to this window and click end. Then you'll notice that it moves the conference to concluded conferences. So assuming that you enabled the recording feature, the uh, link down here will pop up uh, and will enable students to watch the recording um, within an hour or two. It really depends on how long your recording was. Um, so give it a, a little bit and eventually this will turn into a link that students can click and then they will see a link underneath it that says view recording. When the student clicks that, it'll open up a new window and they can press play. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact the Flex Studies office uh, or Canvas directly with your questions.